Hi guys, it's Laura with Quilted Chicken. Welcome back. It has been a while and we have probably uh, spoken quite frequently about the Wensleydale quilt that you can see in the background pattern by Jen Kingwell. Uh, it's in her book Quilt Recipes as well as several delicious dessert recipes. We do have this on our Etsy site as well as the threads that she used um, in the process of the book. If you were with us, uh, joined us at the any of the quilt shows recently, we did have our Wensleydale bundles. This is about 10 and a quarter yards, six and a quarter inch stripped fabric. And we will use that for the foundation paper piecing. She also has templates for the Wensleydale quilt, but today we're going to be talking about the foundation paper piecing that we did with this. I always have issues trying to decide where fabrics should go to look scrappy um, and I typically tend to put the same similar fabrics together in the same spot. So we're, we have a plan taken care of with our strips that we will talk about today. This is the paper that you will receive in the foundation book. Uh, it comes with 60 of these, I believe. I didn't count. It says there's 60. I think there's possibly more because we have an extra and we completed the quilt. So we're going to give you sizes to cut from your 42 inch width of fabric strip. And each of those pieces will coordinate to a different location on the block so that when you put it together, the fabric does not repeat in more than one section per block, which will help it look a little more scrappy. So here is our strip. Um, we cut our strip at six and a quarter inches. I know that sounds uh, oddly specific, but um, it does change the dimensions of the pieces just a little bit. So we did cut it at six and a quarter inch inches. The first section of our fabric that we're gonna need to cut is for the very center. We're gonna cut that section at two and a quarter by four inches. Um, that's going to give you a half an inch or e half an inch around the entire section of the block to go in the very to go in the very center here. Guys, this is not a tutorial on how to foundation paper piece. There are several places on the internet that can talk about the process of stitching and flipping your paper. We just want to make sure that we get the numbers right for the Jen Kingwell um, Wensleydale quilt. So this is our first piece, right in the center there, two and a quarter by four inches. The next section of our 42 inch strip that we're going to cut is going to be four inches by six and a quarter inches. That is going to be for the next pieces here, two, three, four, and five. So from that four by six and a quarter inch piece, you're going to cut it from corner to corner and corner to corner. That's going to give you these four different triangles for the outer pieces. So here's for our sides for two and three. And then we have uh, sections four and five. These triangles, you are going to have a little bit extra left over. Um, these will be quite a bit larger. It's our second piece that we cut. So the next step out, we've got seven, eight, nine, uh, six, seven, eight, and nine. And for those pieces, we're gonna cut a piece that is five inches by six inches. That's this, this uh, the third piece right here. To cut down all of our pieces for the third step, you're gonna cut it in half, and then you're gonna cut from the center out and from the center out again. So if we could take this, if you prefer, you can also fold it in half. You'll have to cut down the side and from corner to corner, but that will give you your four triangles for pieces six, seven, eight, and nine. Again, these have been trimmed down a little bit to show you how they fit. I just love this fabric. This is um, a Ruby Star fabric. This is strawberry, strawberry somethings. It's little strawberry seeds. How cute is that? Okay, so that is the third step. For the fourth step, it repeats uh, the same as the second step, only larger. For that section, 
we are going to cut a six and a quarter. Oh, it's all folded up. Six and a quarter by nine and a half. That's our next section on our 42 inch strip of fabric that we've cut from the bolt. And again, those are just gonna get cut from one corner down from corner to corner. I'll give you the triangles for the sides here and here. And then again, these pieces, these pieces, if you get confused once these are cut and, and mocked around, it's a triangle. It can rotate. It will fit just like it needs to, and you should have plenty of room for the for pieces nine. I'm sorry, for pieces ten and eleven. Starting to come together. Not too bad. The next pieces that we have, guess what? It is the same dimensions. It's not the same dimensions. It's the same proportions as our step three, but quite a bit larger. This is the last section that we need to cut from our 42 inch strip, and it's gonna be uh, five inches by 16 inches. This is for pieces 14, 15, 16, and 17. Again, you're gonna cut down the center and then from corner to corner. You, <clears throat> You do have to be careful with these pieces because as you can see, you have two that are exactly the same this direction, and then you'll have two that are exactly the same this direction. If you mess up one side and try to uh, cut an additional piece, make sure that you have two that are exactly the same with the right side fabrics up. If you notice, we only have three pieces of fabric here. That's because I goofed do as I say, not as I do, and I did not have enough fabric of this to cut the fourth piece. Thankfully, on your 42 inch uh, strip, this is gonna be extra, this is gonna be left over, so if you do have an oops or an uh-oh, you are able to salvage and get a piece from this. Um, we would absolutely be able to get another section if we cut something incorrect or wrong. Um, or if there was a smaller piece. If you get the kits that we bundled for the show, this has 62 strips, so you do have two, two strips. If there's a fabric that you don't love, if there's a print that you just can't, don't wanna have it in your quilt, or if you have a mess up. So that is that. We've got a little bit of a short video. We're gonna show um, how we laid out once all of our strips are cut. Uh, and the video that we're gonna have to follow, I took all of our strips, we cut all of our sections out and stacked each section together so that all of our number ones were stacked up. All of the second cuts that we did for, uh, for steps two, three, four, and five were stacked together in a section and then that's the point where you can go through and mix and match all of your fabrics to get all of your blocks how you want them. What I did is set all of our fabrics. I tore a page out from the book. I stacked all of the fabrics out and had um, a block with a page already set and ready to do. So if you don't want to spend all day sewing um, on paper and then ripping paper out, you can have a stack next to your machine. You can carry them around the house, stick them in a Ziploc bag, keep a block with the paper so that you've already got your um, steps done first first up. It's a little bit more time consuming, but um, it makes it seem like it goes a little bit faster. So, of course, um, if you have any questions, you can absolutely leave a comment. We can let you know about that. Hopefully the video to follow makes sense. This was something that we did a couple of years back. And of course, like everything, uh, you will return to it and wonder what in the world was I thinking? Why did I do things that way? So we spent a little extra time today um, getting stuff prepared and worked out so that when I talk about stuff, I can hold up a piece of fabric and say, this is where it is, this is where it goes. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. The quilt did turn out wonderful. If you would like to get any of the other bundles that we have, we uh, have another quilt show the end of this month. We will hopefully make some more bundles. Uh, we'll see how they sell in Paducah. We do have the books and uh, several of the thread sets and we've got the foundation papers for the kits. Um, we will put whatever we have left on the Etsy store, and of course I will put a link to that 
um, in the comments below. So thanks a lot, guys. Enjoy. Happy sewing. Okay, so starting out, I've got a stack of our strips that we cut. And I'm just gonna lay them out, probably three or four high, so that I can uh, strip cut and keep all of my sections together. pulled out my instructions that tell me what size lengths to cut. going to stack and keep all of our the same sizes um, together so that when we move on to the next step we'll have uh, our pieces where we need them so we're going to continue to cut we still got a little stack here and then we'll be ready to put our blocks together okay so we have all of our sections cut and stacked the next step Start with our outside pieces. Fold this in half and lay them out. We do have a couple pieces that were odd shaped. I had, a, I did have a scrap. We may get through about half of this stack and then I'll have to start matching them up before I'm going to run out of room. So we have our first section laid out. This is our outer section. This is pieces 14, 15, 16, and 17. So the next uh, strip that we'll need to put on here we're going to fold and I'm going to leave just a little piece here so that I know on our block that which it, it'll graduate from our outer border down into we get to our center. start on the blocks for six, seven, eight, and nine. We're just going to stack and leave it, uh, leave a gap there so that we know which, uh, how it's going to, how it's going to start kind of looking for us. piece that we're going to put down
Okay, how's it? Is it looking scrappy enough yet? So at this point, we should have four pieces. Uh, the next one that we're going to lay down. Oh, I think the next one is our center. Oops. One, two, three, four. Yep, last one's our center. And then this uh, section of blocks will be done. Okay, what we're gonna do is pick them up. I'm gonna go ahead and since our bottom piece is um, larger, we're gonna just go ahead and fold that over uh, so that I don't, if I stack them, they don't get uh, mixed up. Okay, so we have all of our pieces uh, that were bundled together. The cutting directions at the beginning video uh, give you the dimensions to trim them down, but if, if you noticed in the second part of the video, the strips that we put together are still all the six and a quarter. So we're gonna go back through and check on the cutting directions from the first part of the video and get everything trimmed down to size to make um, putting this block together easy peasy. Our first piece was cut at two and a quarter. It needs to be trimmed to two and a quarter by four as such. Uh, the, the second piece is fine as it is. It was, it's four by six and a quarter, and that is gonna get cut into four triangles from, from this corner to the opposing corner. Leave it on your mat and just turn your ruler to do the second cut. That gives us the four pieces, sections two, three, four, and five. Our third cut, we need to trim it down to five inches by six inches. It then needs to be folded. Um, if you want to cut it in half, you can. I folded all of mine. It needs to be folded to three inches by five inches. And I'm gonna go right up on the corner and just cut this little sliver here. We'll leave it on the mat. And we're gonna cut from one corner out to the opposing corner. And that is for these next sections here. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Our next piece for 10, 11, 12, and 13 it's gonna be the full six and a quarter width. So we just leave it as is and we're gonna cut from one corner to the opposite corner. And as you can see, these pieces are very oversized. At the, at the first part of the video, the ones that I had had been trimmed down a little bit. So you will have plenty of room to do your flipping and turning. All right, and then our last piece um, is gonna get trimmed to five inches by 16. And again, I'm gonna fold this one in half to measure five inches by eight. And just trim off this tiny, tiny sliver here. It is oversized enough that that's, it's not gonna hinder the cutting that you need, the sizing that you need. And again, one single cut from the one bottom corner to the opposing corner. Uh, it'll give you the two sides for the four pieces that you need. So there we have it. That is how our block will finish out. Uh, if you notice, uh, I don't think any of these colors are in our actual uh, kits because these were all scraps. I didn't have, everything has been done. We finished our quilt and so I didn't have any pieces to put together. But so there are the directions, there are the cutting instructions. We'll have links to all of the kits and books and, and fun stuff in the comments. Guys, I hope that that helps. If not, shoot me a message, uh, put a message in the comments and we'll get you taken care of because this is really a fun project to do. You don't need to be intimidated. Have a great day. See you next time.
<sighs> I didn't cough through the whole thing <coughs> until now. <clears throat>